In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get stable remote live streams using network bonding technology. And obviously, we're going to be doing it using a phone and an application called OmniStream. So let's not take much time. Let's actually get into it. What's going on, guys? Sam here with OmniStream. So let's assume that you are live streaming in a place where you don't have access to a traditional network. Maybe you are on the top of a mountain streaming a wedding or maybe streaming sports events or anything in a place where you don't have access to traditional network. The only option available for you is actually by using your phone's network. So in most cases, you're going to be able to use your cellular network. And if it happens that you have access access to Wi-Fi, I'm going to show you how you can actually combine both the Wi-Fi network and your cellular network. Why you want to do that is because most cases, if you are in a remote area, your cellular network may not be enough, maybe breaking up depending on your interference or the reception, how much reception you actually have. Or even if you're using, let's say, if you were connected to Wi-Fi, you could actually have some issues. Wi-Fi may not be reliable, maybe breaking up, you know, so many issues issues with wireless network. So one of the best way to actually solve this problem is by combining multiple network sources. And today I'm going to show you how to actually use your cellular network, combine it with Wi-Fi to be able to get a stable connection for your live streams. If this is your first time that you actually heard about OmniStream, I have a video down below showing you step by step how to set up OmniStream to be able to live stream from your phone. And actually, one of the best features that we have, of course, is the network bonding. But also, you have another feature you can actually use any HDMI source, including an HDMI camera or any HDMI switcher, connect it directly into your phone and use your phone as an encoder to be able to go live to multiple platforms you can multi-stream or just stream to one platform you can even use srt or custom rtmp so many cool things you can do with omni stream but in today's video of course we're gonna be focusing on network bonding so right now i have my phone actually open and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and click to omni stream again you can get omni stream application from google play just search for omni stream you're gonna be able to find it so once you have it installed i'm gonna go ahead and actually click on it and i'm going to log in so now i'm logged into omni stream this is what the application looks like okay now as you can see in the corner here as you can see we have one over two okay which means this is how many network sources we actually have now with this option i'm gonna show you there's another advanced way to actually connect multiple cell phones kind of networks or cellular networks together but for this option we're gonna be combining just the cellular and the wi-fi available on the phone right now i have only my sim card inserted into my phone and that's what we have available and as you can see omnistream is going to show us here in the corner all the network sources that we have available so the next thing i'm going to show you how to test your internet speed to make sure you have enough internet speed available to accommodate your bandwidth now this is important to know what you have here as you can see this is our bit rate and as you can see i can change it to anything i want okay so I can move it from two or from one megabase to 16. Okay, again, 16 is, is the maximum. So assuming I wanna stream to, let's say something like Facebook, where I need six megabits per second, I can actually set it. And then what you need to do is, you're gonna go to this hamburger menu, and we're gonna do a quick speed test, and I'm gonna show you. Remember, we are still just using the SIM card, so we're not using the bonding technology yet. I just wanna show you how the whole thing works. As you can see, OmniStream is going to analyze our connection, and it's gonna tell us if we have enough bandwidth to accommodate six megabits per second bit rate that we actually need. So as you can see, it's showing this SIM card sign here and it's showing that we actually have a good connection to accommodate six megabits per second. So it says good. Now on the Wi-Fi signal is actually saying there's an error because there's no really there's no Wi-Fi available for us to use. Now, if you were streaming with this a SIM card, you actually you would be good to stream at six megabits per second. However, you know, if something happens and the signal start, you know, kind of getting some interference or you are in a place where you're actually not getting a good reception, you may start having issues. So still, even if 
says it's good for the moment having an extra layer of uh, bandwidth is actually super super good so this is not the actual speed this is really omnistream telling you that you are actually able to stream at six megabits per second now if you want it i can go to 16 all right and then i can do a speed test to actually show you again so let's go to speed test and see if we can actually have enough bandwidth to accommodate 16 megabits per second just from the sim card we don't have wi-fi yet okay and as you can see again my network is actually good i'm still okay to stream at 16 megabits per second it says the connection is actually good even though it says 14.8 all right so now what we're gonna do is i'm gonna show you now if i enable my wi-fi i already have it connected i just disabled it for the sake of testing so i'm gonna go ahead and actually exit the application and go ahead enable my wi-fi so now that i have my wi-fi turned on okay what we need to do the first thing you're going to notice if you go in the corner here as you can see we have two over two okay so which means two over two means we have two network sources we have wi-fi and cellular okay and if we keep our bit rate at 16 megabits per second we can go here and do a quick speed test and see what we get so as you can see the results are here we have for our moto g 5g which is my wi-fi here it says good connection i have up to 15.7 available and for my sim card here i have good connection again 14.8 available for me which means i have both networks or both network sources available and I have good bandwidth to accommodate my 16 megabits per second, all right? So now, this does not mean that this is my actual upload speed. If you wanna do a quick upload speed test, you can actually log out of Omnistream and do a quick upload speed, or you can even just go to Google on your smartphone and just type in internet speed test. It's gonna show you how much upload speed you have available. However, you probably don't need to do that because Omnistream is gonna tell you based on your bit rate if you actually have enough uh, bandwidth for your streaming. So now what Omnistream does again with two sources is gonna combine both sources, be able to give you a stronger connection depending on what's happening. So let's say if your Wi-Fi gets weak, it's gonna take more bandwidth from your cellular. If your cellular gets weak, it's gonna take some data or some bandwidth from your Wi-Fi. So now what we're gonna do, we are going to go ahead and actually do a quick live stream to Omnistream so that I can actually show you how the whole thing works. So what we need to do, I'm going to go here on this arrow kind of icon and I already have a live Omnistream kind of live stream set up. This is going to go to Omnistream servers. This is just to show you again, you can go live to Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitch or customer RTMP. This is just for testing. OK, and as you can see, it's already set up to go. OK, I'm just going to go ahead and actually close it. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and actually click this live button. And we're going to be going live in 16 megabits per second bit rate. Okay. Again, I do not recommend this. This is just for testing. Okay. So as you can see now, as soon as I hit the live button, I should be live. Okay. Again, if I want to share, this is the link for my stream and everything. I'm just going to go ahead and actually, you know, just minimize it. And as you can see, we are live and we are sending 16 megabits per second. So everything is coming from my two channels. Okay. And if you want to see how the whole thing works, we're going to go to this chart icon here and we're gonna see how much actually we are getting from each network source so as you can see we have two network sources we have a green one and the red one and as you can see omnistream is actually trying to get bandwidth from both network sources and as you can see we have wi-fi here we are actually getting 8.67 you know it's, it keeps changing all right and we have our sim card here as well and as you can see we're getting 8.7 7.5 so it keeps changing so what you see here is really both network sources and omnistream trying to kind of taking you know data from each source trying to balance just to make sure 
the signal stays strong all right so this is how the magic happens guys this is the magic of omnistream again once you're done live streaming you're just gonna click this red button and you're gonna be able to end your stream again remember you don't have to stream at 16 megabits per second this is was just for testing you can go ahead and actually change to something like 8 megabits per second maybe if you're streaming on youtube or 6 if you're streaming on facebook this is gonna depend on how much bandwidth you have available and which platform you are actually streaming on so the next thing you may be wondering but why this thing is so good and this technology is actually awesome how much is it gonna cost you guys it's actually super super affordable of course if you go with omnistream so this is our uh, pricing page you can actually go there and you can actually check out our annual plans as you can see you have the free one for actually you know just testing and it actually comes with the cellular burning all right and of course you know it's not perfect this is a free one uh in my opinion the most usable for most people is the videographer one which is 184 dollars per year because this one is gonna give you up to 200 hours per month for live streaming if you want to pay monthly if you want to go with the influencer one is actually 72 dollars and you get two hours per month which is small for most people but if that's what you need again you can actually go ahead and pick that one now if you want to pay monthly it gets even cheaper as you can see it's nine dollars for the influencer <clears throat> package or videographer package for 23 dollars per month that gives you up to 200 hours per month now some people will be like okay why maybe i need to stream once in a you know once in a while i don't stream every month okay i don't need 200 hours uh maybe i just need a one-time thing that's where our one day coverage actually comes in because you can actually pay only ten dollars right or four dollars depending on what you need and have access to OmniStream for 24 hours to be able to stream your event. So if you need to stream a wedding and you know you're not streaming weddings every month, you can actually go ahead and actually check it out. Maybe get a license for $10 for 24 hours, or if you need it for two days, pay $20 and be able to have access to OmniStream or the bonding capabilities and everything on the cool features that come with OmniStream. So as you can see, it's actually super, super affordable. So the worst case scenario would be you are in a place where you don't have access to Wi-Fi. Maybe you have only the cellular option, okay? And you want to be able to add multiple network sources. One of the few options that you can actually use to be able to take advantage of the bonding technology is to use an extra phone something like maybe an iphone or any other phone that has obviously a sim card in it and enable the hotspot so you can actually send the wi-fi from this phone and have your main omnistream phone kind of access that phone via hotspot as a wi-fi that's an option as well another option you if you have multiple android phones you can actually use another advanced technology where you can combine more than two cellular network sources from multiple android phones but to do that that's gonna be more advanced that's why we have a dedicated video showing you step by step how to combine multiple cellular networks and bond them to build a super super strong connection and as soon as the video is done it's gonna be linked right here so you guys can watch it but if this is your first time actually hearing about omnistream i have another video that i made showing you step by step how to use omnistream to be able to go live to any platform that you may think of and the video is gonna be be linked right here so make sure to check out the videos and i'll see you there guys take care